she was like a teenager she'd always sort of get excited about things and she was changing outfits and we were going to different areas and taking pictures it was like a fun day she had a great quality of life up until literally you know the end so it's quite impressive you know she was riding a couple of days before so she must have just I don't know that was just something special about her there are beautiful photographs of Stella on horseback, the one in the front of the book where she's putting her hand out, which is great. Mm. And a wonderful photograph of her with your mum. Mm. And it's another love photograph. Yeah. It was a very personal picture. I hesitated before putting it into the book because I was like, is it too personal? I think it was quite poignant and I think it's one image that says so much. So it sort of speaks for itself which is kind of what I'm aiming to get with each image that, you know, I take. She's such a hard act to follow. Mm. Yeah, everyone. it's a challenge. It can be. I did a picture, some pictures for Interview magazine and um, this woman I really respect, Ingrid Sissy, phoned up. She's like, look, I want to use some of your mum's pictures she took of your dad in London in the 60s and then I want you to go and do a session with him now. And I was like, oh, yeah, my usual, like, yeah, great. And then I was <laughs> like, afterwards it came to the day and I was like, what am I doing? Like, how am I going to ever take pictures that work? Those pictures mum took of, of dad then in the early 60s are so amazing. But, you know, actually I'm really glad I did it. It was a great piece. Dad and I had a great time. It's very obvious that you feel closer to your father by taking his photographs. Yeah, yeah, but I feel closer to people almost by taking their photographs because it links you. And even though it's that thing of like hiding behind the camera, it gives you a reason to kind of blend into the background because you can observe more. You do then get judged. It's like, okay, where are the pictures then? Are they any good? So you're still putting, there's that weird thing of you still putting yourself on the line, but doing it. You know, it's sort of like a passion. I can't, you know, it's what keeps me excited about my career, really. If you didn't have the camera, who would you be? Hmm. I mean, I've never even thought of that because I've never really thought of other options. Maybe something around cooking. It's weird because my mum was well known for being a photographer and then she did her cookbooks and her food range and I've actually been asked to do a cookbook now and I'm I'm thinking that I probably will do it. But I will blend that with adapted recipes over the year because I love cooking but also my photography will be a big element in it, I think. I've been looking at you for the last half hour and your face is so compelling for me because I can <laughs> see your dad in your eyes. You've got Paul McCartney's eyes. And you've got and your mum and his colouring, but I can see your mum there too. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I notice mannerisms or things I do like mum, I, but I notice it in Stella when we meet up, I can see her and her, I think my hands are more like my dad's and her. My mum had really long, thin, elegant fingers. So I think it's interesting. I mean, we are her daughters, so I, can, I can't necessarily see it so much in me. I'll see it more in Stella or my sister Heather or my brother, but yeah, I think, you know, we all kind of have picked up mannerisms or... She's such mm. a strong character. We know expression, you know, that's the thing with the parent that goes, if you're lucky, you'll remember your, I know what she would say about that or I know how she felt about that, you know, it's sort of like that, I think. So it's it's nice when I take it as a compliment when people say that I like it. So she's with you, really. Hmm, yeah. Your brother James is, is in the book and Stella. Um, your older half-sister, Heather, you acknowledge is Hetty at the end, mm. but she's not in the book. She's not, actually. That's an omission. I should actually should have put her in there. There's a couple of pictures that maybe I could have put in of her. I don't have as many photographs of her because she doesn't necessarily like having her picture taken. And... I suppose with my brother and with Stella and James, they've kind of asked me to take their pictures over the years or said, let's go off and do some pictures. And for that reason, I have more of them. Your own children are there, not named, but I can mm. tell which ones mm -hmm. are yours. And your baby sister, Be 